Hey guys, I'm Asia and welcome to another episode. Uh, last episode we set up a little remote base and we uh, essentially transported uh, steam, which we're making with our frictional heaters here. And we're sending it for a test rack to the base and we're going to use the, uh, the steam itself to essentially remotely transfer um, radio craft power. So if you haven't seen that, uh, I'll link up on the screen if you want to see how to do that. So. Um, we're actually going to do some surveying today. Um, we're actually going to make a ground penetrating radar. So, uh, this is pretty much what you need. Uh, so let's get some HSL steel ingots, a control circuit, and a glass board. Just go to your crafting station. A uh, circuit board in the middle, glass pane above it, and then full steel like that. So you get a little rotorcraft screen. And then what we need is a radar so we go back to the crafting station again gold in the middle uh, where's the DC engine DC engine below it redstone on either side and then along the top HSL steel unit and it's a radar unit now for the last bit you're gonna need four HSL steel two base panels and a circuit panel go to the work table uh, circuit board in the center four HSL steel in the corners, base panels on either side, and the screen in the top one, and radar unit in the bottom. And you get the ground penetrating radar. So if we just hold shift, you see it's a minimum power of 32,000 kilowatts. Uh, let's see, it should be in the book somewhere. Let's see if there's any more extra information on it. So blah, 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 blah. Okay, larger power inputs will give you a wider view angle. So, um, essentially, the more power you put into it, and here's a little weird uh, mathematics uh, equation for how much power you want to put into it. Uh, I'm not going to work that out because uh, I'm, I'm stupid. <laughs> anyway, uh, so let's go to our little outpost. And hopefully, it's daytime. Uh, it is not. The only problem with living in the end is that everything is night time, so. And you got no idea when the real time is daytime, so quick bedtime. Let's go back down to our little spot, and there's our little favorite spider from last week. There's a skeleton desperately trying to survive. Alright, okay, so. We've got the steam coming from our test rack here, and uh, we were gonna move it with uh, the steam turbine, so. And I've got some four duct pipes, so let's just see, um, run down there, and I'm going to put the steam turbine on there so it should start spinning up, and I'm going to chuck the ground penetrating radar next to it, it uh, accepts power from all sides, so I think this is the way it's facing, and as you can see, we get across here, get a good crush section, so roughly where here and I believe that it's looking from this direction to that direction and as you can see here uh, I think this is a geostrider material so that's probably some kind of a cobblestone as you can see we've got dirt here uh, cobblestone these black spots are most likely uh, empty spaces as you can see we've got a, there's a cave there as well and there's some water in there Okay, so that's along there. Let us just uh, break this and put it on a different angle. Like it always puts it in the angle, right? Uh, let's see. Yep, always points in that direction. So let's just move this along. Whoops. Keep on forgetting I've got a module power seat on. And I can jump big distances. Okay, there, and put it there, and as you can see it spans out. So as you can see, below us is actually quite a big chasm area. So I'd say there's probably like a, a crevasse down there. It's no biggie. A little empty space down there. Let's get another move a little bit more. The 
tree there. Okay, now let's check out this area. So right now I'm just trying to find a place where I can start a mining well. So if I went down through here, we're just going to equip this area. Hmm, what if that's gold? Red is probably lava. That's right, a little bit over there. So if we come down through here, we should be fine. So that's about it for this episode. Uh, what I'll be doing next episode is I'm going to be using the pile driver uh, to dig ourselves down. Um, it's probably not the most conventional way of doing it, but it it is a way. It's a uh, uh, how do I say it? Um, yeah, it's a rotorcraft way, and you know it's pretty awesome the way it works. So uh, we'll be doing that next episode, and hopefully uh, the spot that I've picked, which is here, should I mark it? Yeah, I'll mark it. Uh, okay, cobblestone pillar will be our spot. Okay, so next episode we'll be digging the uh, the hole down using the hole driver, and then after that. I'm not sure, probably setting up a borer um, and some kind of item transport to get the items back to the main base. So, until then guys, Ready, aim, fire.